Hey guys, Dr. Zach here, Chief Entomologist at Thanksgiving Point, and today we are gonna unbox the stars of the butterfly biosphere, butterflies. Awesome, well let's get into it. This just arrived, literally this was overnighted. This is a, a bunch of chrysalises from Africa and Asia. Let's see what we got. Species list, fantastic, that'll be handy. And there we go, 250 butterflies, just like that. Ooh, oh, these are awesome. These are some nice big swallowtail butterflies. Holy cow. So just a few days ago, this was a caterpillar crawling around somewhere in Asia. Now this is the actual body of, an, of the insect. It's super camouflaged right now because it can't crawl away from any predators. But this is an actual animal, that's its skin. That's what it looks like. People think of this as having an animal inside of it, but there's no more an animal inside of this than there is an animal inside of you. You just are a person, and this is a butterfly, or it will be a butterfly when it emerges. So what we gotta do is we gotta take all these, mount them up, let them emerge, and then pretty soon, within the next week or so, they'll be flying around behind me in the butterfly biosphere. So the reason that we have to have all of these butterfly chrysalis flown in from all over the world so we can have them flying around here is because every type of butterfly will only lay its eggs on a very specific plant. Like monarch butterflies only lay their eggs on milkweed. No milkweed, no monarch butterflies. So other people in various countries, small farmers, raise the butterflies that are native to their own backyards, then they package them up, send them to us, and we release them in here as butterflies. So this is a butterfly that I am super excited to be able to show off here at the Butterfly Biosphere. This is called the Great Mormon Butterfly. I have personally never been to a butterfly garden before and seen Mormon butterflies. What better place to showcase them here than in Lehigh, Utah? So the Mormon butterflies are called Mormon butterflies because all the male butterflies look the same, but there are different color morphs for the females. And some kooky naturalist a long time ago saw one male and multiple females and thought, Mormon butterfly. So in order for this guy to come out and be a nice healthy adult butterfly, it has to hang upside down and then be able to emerge and hang from its old skin as it dries out its wings, right? It also needs to be warm, about 80 degrees Fahrenheit and 80% humidity. So we need to take all of these guys, put them into a warm, humid box and have them hanging upside down so they can emerge. That takes very special conditions. Let me show you how we set that up so we can have success and happy butterflies flying around. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this metal rod and we're gonna glue all of the butterflies up underneath here. So what we do is we just set that here. We have this little styrofoam. It's perfectly spaced, so we just set that up right against the rod like that. And we take the butterflies and you can see this one is still attached to a little stick. That's what we're actually gonna stick the glue to. So we're gonna take this and put it right there on there. And we'll just do that with a whole bunch of them. Okay, so now that we have all the chrysalis laid out like this, we need to glue them to this rod. For that, we just use a regular old glue gun. Now this comes out really hot, and so you gotta strike that right balance of having it still be sticky enough to hold onto the butterfly tight so it's safe, but not so hot that it burn it. And then I take that little mat of silk that's right there, and I just gently place it into the glue, and that way it'll be secured nice and tight. Okay, so I gotta run, we gotta pin up all of these butterflies. We got a thousand butterflies over the last couple of days, and every single one of them needs to be meticulously pinned up so that they don't emerge inside the box, which is a tragedy. If you like this video, like the video. If you really like the video, subscribe so you can see more videos like it. Share it with your friends so they can learn about these cool insects too. If you guys were inspired, you have questions about these bugs, leave your questions below in the comments. Here at the Butterfly Biosphere, you're gonna see over a thousand butterflies flying around. We will answer your questions for you. Check you later.